Welcome to another video. I haven't recorded in a while and I just wanted to um, do an updated video. Um, and I just thought you guys would have to know this. I mean, just want to like record, put it on YouTube. I don't know. Um, so basically, um, I was at school. And I was at lunch, and I'm done with my lunch, and when you're done with your lunch, you get up from the table and throw your trash away, obviously. And I went to go throw my trash away, and um, I took my first step, and all of a sudden, my knee just, like, went out. Like, I couldn't feel it. It went so numb. It was numb. It was just bad. And then I, it makes me, made me feel like it just dropped me and then after I fell I got up and worst sight ever let me just say the worst sight is when you just get up and you see your knee on the other side of your leg it was terrifying okay and then uh, my friend was like oh my gosh her leg her leg and, um, so basically what happened was, like, four teachers ran after me, and they needed me, they needed me to, like, stay awake, keep talking, because they didn't want me to go in shock, because knowing me, I would have went in shock, because, like, it was so scary, and, like, me, just me looking at it, mm. So, my teacher, one of my old teachers were just sitting there, like, talking to me and keeping me, like, calm and stuff. And then, um, they called the ambulance. The ambulance came and got me. They, um, put me on, um, a stretcher and then put me in the ambulance. In the ambulance, they had to give me an IV and they gave me, um, this one type of medicine, um, they gave me, they had to do two, they had to do an IV on this side. Um, and I hate needles, like I hate needles with a strong passion. And so they kept poking me because they couldn't get the IV in right. So they kept poking me and I'm just like, mm. Well, as my knee hurt, I wasn't really focused on them poking me. I was focused on my my knee hurt like so bad and at this point my legs were like my both both my knees were bent because I couldn't move my knee they had to tape my legs together so they wouldn't move and somehow they picked me up without like hurting me and so we got out, up to the hospital and we were there they took a few x-rays, which I'll insert, like, picture of, pictures of the x-ray and stuff, like, after this video. Um, then they say we have to pop it back in place. It hurt so bad. I kept saying, wait, wait. Uh, like, damn, I was so scared. They just grabbed my knee and, like, straightened it as fast as they could. Mm, it's, yeah. And then, after that, we had to, like, wait for, like, more paperwork. They took more x-ray. At this point, my ankle, I mean, my ankle, I mean, my knee was as big, bigger than a softball. And, basically, they took more x-rays, which you can't really tell anything from the x-rays because how swollen it is. So... They gave me more pain medicine. Um, they put, like, more medicine in my IV, and they just, like, made me sit there and stuff. They almost had, I had skinny jeans on, and it happened, and they almost had to like, cut my skinny jeans off. But they didn't, because I somehow was able to take my, my jeans off. Um, yeah. Um... Yeah, that was really scary. And 
so now I I am on crutches and the hospital sent me to the orthodontist um the orthopedic the day after. And what they did was they asked me a few questions on what happened and stuff and then they pulled out the x ray. They went over the x ray with me and they said that my there's this bone like underneath the kneecap that chipped off and it's fractured. We don't know how bad the fracture is, but I have to get a MRI on December 20th. And basically that's going to show me how bad the fracture is and if it's bad, they have to do surgery. Sorry if I didn't explain this well, but I hope you enjoyed.